welcome to my channel. Today we'll be starting this Timeless Beauty Vintage Ballerina series and we will be making a journal together. So, so much fun. So anyone who has bought my kits and still have yours, I hope that you can follow along with me. This one is slightly different. Um, we will be making an envelope journal and I bought my envelopes from Dollar Tree. So all you would have to do is go to Dollar Tree and get these envelopes right here. So they're self-adhesive, but you can use any kind of envelope you want. But this is, a um, let's see, a four and a half by nine and a half. Um, they're pretty big. I've used up most of them. I need to go get some more. But they're pretty tall, so they're almost like a document. So this will be so much fun to make this with you guys. So it's pretty big, pretty tall. I love it. I love tall, slim journals. And I've made a couple of videos and a couple of journals using them. So I hope that you all are doing well and are having a beautiful day so far. Uh, I wanted to uh, get this finished up so we can make this video and have some fun together. Life is always fun with friends like you, and I love you all so very much. So, one I'm making for a friend, and the other one I will have in my Etsy. So, this one right here. And um, let me show you. I sewed a bag, and it has all the yummy goodies in here. Here's a snippet flower that I made on a big, a big clip here. This is a big clip. And so here's the snippet flower that is a pink stone, really light pink stone. And I put appliques in here and flower petals and lace, vintage lace here. And I writ dyed it baby pink and with baby pink white and white flower petals. It is so pretty. And I'll have it clipped on this bag. And inside here are the Ballerina Digitals. So all of these here. So everything that I'll be working on is the same thing as this, just slightly different with just a couple of trims, just slightly different. So there's all your yummies there. Let's see. So you have two medium glycine bags with goodies and one little pink bag with a lace um, bundle here and 10 envelopes with two smaller envelopes and two of these envelopes. I'll show you everything because the I made the same exact kit. The only thing that's different is the bag because this is big enough to store your project as you're working on it and then a couple of trims and a lace for the cover of the journal. So I'm going to put this off to the side so this kit right here will be available in my Etsy if you uh, feel like you want to purchase it and follow along with these videos. That'll be so much fun. So let me set that off to the side. We will be using all these digitals. Um, I'll attach the video where I showed all these digitals down below. I think it was my latest video. Okay, so we have that there. And then I made this clutch bag for the journal I am completing. So this is thinner. And it is such a pretty, I think this is a vintage placemat. And it looks worn and it's pretty and I just I just sewed a clutch so I sewed here and it's gonna store the finished journal once it's finished and this is gonna go to a friend and and I made this snippet flower here for this so this is tatting here I think I got this from Sierra with different kind of appliques that I got from Neri and then the flower petals more uh, vintage lace that is tea dyed and then another big clip and another doily and these flower petals I know I got from 
an antique store. So it was pretty cool. So I don't know how old they are, but they're gorgeous and it's huge. I mean, look at this flower. So pretty, right? So I got the bling from Neri too. So this is going to be hooked on here like this when the journal is in here. So I wanted to share that with y'all. What I've been working on. So, all right. So, um, also included in the kit, the one that goes in Etsy, I've inserted some beautiful pink ribbon into this gorgeous lace. And I tied a knot on the end so it doesn't come undone here. So I inserted that for you. So this goes on the... This goes on the journal, on the edge of the front of the journal. And see if it just twists like that, then you could just fix it real fast. So that'll go on the edge of the journal. So I'll show you in just a minute. But uh, I wanted to share that with you. And here's the kit that I will be working on. So I made lots of yummies for this. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. And here is my lace. This is the same exact bundle I have in the bag that I'll be taking apart and working on throughout the series. So this is so much fun. I'm so excited, you guys. So today we're going to glue the envelopes together, and I'm hoping to put the lace on the cover. Well, not this one. So see, there's only a slight difference of the lace for the cover. Just a slight difference. So I coffee dyed this lace here to put on your envelope for the kit for the Etsy shop. I was only able to do one for now. I worked really hard getting this kit together. And then this one here, this piece is off of a vintage wedding dress and this was gifted to me from Amy Love. So I figured I would use it on the journal that I'm going to gift to a friend. So that will be so pretty. And then I have the same exact lace to put on the edge of the cover. So, so fun. So fun. I'm so excited. All right. <clears throat> so in this bundle here, let's go ahead and take it apart. Because this is the one I'm going to be using anyway. So I, in the same kit for the Etsy shop, I included 10 envelopes. So those are from Dollar Tree. And then this one here. I use the, we're going to use this for our tuck spot. So, so pretty. I got this uh, um, pocket from uh, Hobby Lobby. And then this little mini envelope. So cute. So I figured we'd have some fun embellishing this project. And then two uh, smaller size envelopes. I think we were going to, I think we're going to do some some flip outs with these. I think that would be super fun. So let's let's uh let's get going. So let me move this beautiful lace that is for the kit for the Etsy shop and this ribbon that uh is tied around the envelopes. I was thinking maybe we could make a bow and put it inside that there. So um let me show you what I have. Let's see. That is such gorgeous lace. Thank you, Amy, for that lace. So let's start with the smaller bag. I don't want to take too long. So I have here, let me just spread it out on the table, and I'll bring in the camera closer. All right, so here I have a vintage button my mom had. So this is the same thing as the, the kit in the Etsy store. This one here is um, one I got from Hobby Lobby. We're going to make something for the journal with that. And a button here. And a heart gem here. A vintage wedding dress button here that I bought from a thrift store. And some bling here and some flat backs and a little flat back there. And uh, I included um, a paper clip with little tiny pink sea beads. And this beautiful 
charm here and this one here. This is a really pale, pale pink here. And also um, this little glass bottle with pearls inside. So pretty. This is off of a ballerina dress. Okay, so let's just put those back inside. All right, so this one is in a glycine bag. That way you could reuse the glycine bag for whatever you wish, another project or whatever. And this is the applique bundle. It looks small, but small is mighty. And uh, I added two pieces of vintage chiffon, which we're going to use for a tie. And then uh, these for the closure for the tie. And th there's only, I think, one or two appliques that are slightly different, but they're pretty much the same. And we'll put these on the pages. So, so pretty. Little tiny sea beads in them. Little tiny sea beads in this as well. So pretty. And I got these from Annie. Miss Garden Grove. I will link her channel below. I think this one's from Sierra. So I've I've gotten a lot of stuff <laughs> for kids. This is a beautiful, beautiful applique. I think that's from Sierra as well. This one I know is from Annie. So pretty. So this one is just a beautiful cream color that we're going to put probably on the edge of a page with a ballerina picture. So we will use all these. All right, the last glycine bag, I added a little piece of eyelash trim. So beautiful uh, snippets we can use to decorate the journal and a pearl strand, and it's pretty long too. I think I measured, uh, and these are these vintage pearls, and a little applique here. These uh, ribbon flowers here. So those ones have pearls in the center. So we can decorate our beautiful journal so pretty and a rhinestone here two ribbon bows here one cream one baby pink so i'm i mixed everything with vintage and baby pink instead of doing one or the other and then this beautiful pink cameo and these are vintage. My mom had these when she had her dance studio taptations when I was growing up. And she put these on the leotards. And I have a couple left and I wanted to add one into each package. So these are really old. So I'm 45. So maybe when I was five years old. So these are 40 years old or even earlier. So those are so pretty. And the same with this, I added, so here's another ribbon here. Let's see here. To protect the tassel, uh, I added a tassel here with a little Paris charm. So pretty. And this is a piece of my dance skirt. Now, it's not purple, it's not lilac, it's not lavender. It's kind of like a grayish, it's just so vintage. It's like like grayish lavender, but that is a piece off my dance skirt. My mama used a lot of lace and tulle when she made, 
she sewed everybody's dance costumes when I was growing up. So there's a snippet piece that we're going to use in this kit. So, so fun, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and start gluing our envelopes together. So, uh, now I've done this in a video before, but I figured we could do this again. So I'm just taking an envelope and flipping it this way and flipping it this way. You know, like that. So what we got to do first is add all the pages inside each other. So you kind of want to do like, let's go ahead and um, do that. Well, let's start with the bottom one and just keep working up. I kind of want to just line it up. Oops, that is not lined up. Oh well, we can fix that with trims, no biggie. So that's what you want to do. You want to take that off and line it up to the bottom one like this. Boy, that is sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. It's not perfect, it's okay, because that's why we put on uh, lace and trims. Uh, you don't need any glue for this part. You will need it for the front cover. So, and I do have 10 envelopes here. Because the one I made in the last video, it was months ago, uh, showing these vintage pictures, um, I'd used different envelopes. So I will link that video down below, just in case you want to watch it. And there still is one uh, vintage ballerina pictures left in my Etsy shop. If anybody is interested, I will send extra yummies with it, like some lace and trims and things like that for you to play around. I'm hoping to do more kits. I do have vintage ballerinas from uh, the Swan Lake, and they're so pretty. I mean, very pretty. So see how fast this is to put together, and I'm just lining it up the best I can. It's not perfect. Just have fun. You can make it perfect as you decorate it. That's what I always say, make it perfect as you decorate it. See, they're all different. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so then you want to take let's see. So then you want to take this strap out a uh, strap. <laughs> uh that off there and let's see here. All right, so I'm going to add just a little bit of glue to this. Oops. Well, that didn't work, did it? Okay. Just a little bit of glue on the edge. You don't need much for that. And then I'm just going to put this on here, and I'm going to leave a little bit of room. You see because there's the line there and you don't want to go all the way in there like that so 
So then we're going to need to do something with this. So I could just, uh, I should have brought some cardstock in here. I could just cut a piece off of this paper here. So I think I'm going to do that. Just uh, real quick. Yeah, because see it's a little tiny strip. So let me do that. I'm going to cut a piece off of here and I'm going to put it right here. Cut that off. So let's wait for this to dry a little bit. Okay, this is funny. So I tore off the back envelope. I forgot to put this in here. <laughs> so I took off the strip that I just cut. So it's okay though. It's okay. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of the last page and you want to tuck all the pages into the bottom page there with some glue. And I'm even trying to remember what I did with this part. Maybe I'll put that strip back on. So I put it too far out is what, what I did. Okay, so I think I'm going to bring this further in like that. So let me add some glue. It's okay. So it's okay. Fixable, right? It's been quite some time since I've done an envelope journal. Okay, that looks much better. Okay, now let's let this dry for a few minutes. And uh, I think what I'll do is add a little bit of glue right here, just a little bit on the edge to kind of hold it down. I don't want to use too, too much glue because then it'll make it stiff. Just enough to kind of hold it down there. Okay, I'm going to let everything dry for just a minute and then we're going to fold our cute little journal and don't worry everything is going to be covered up with pictures and lace and trims and appliques. Okay so now I'm kind of gluing these tabs down at the top. Okay. Okay I had to go and run and get my tape. You can use washi tape. I like using this masking tape and I got three rolls for five dollars on Amazon so I'll leave a link down below because I can ink it to any color I want. So we will be putting these in the creases of the pages. So after it's glued down and after it dries for a minute or two. So all we did was uh, Retuck it back in here and glue these tabs down over here. So now you want to fold it like this. Crease it here. And then we're going to flip it. So now you have your pages. You see how they're laying? So I'm glad I fixed that. I'm glad I caught that. It's okay that that is ripped because it is going to get covered with lace. And beautiful ballerina images so much fun so I'm gonna show you one uh, how I do my tape in the center here so 
what you want to do with your washi tape or your masking tape or any kind of tape you want to use. So what I do is I just line it up like this and put this up here and put it right there where the well I don't want that piece now come on you gotta work with me you gotta work with me tape okay so now let's put this down I love this tape because it's easy to use. And you want to put it right there in the in the center. So I'm going to do the rest of the pages and I'll be right back, okay? That gives it some strength for your spine. Then you just want to come back through here and trim it up so the stickers, the tape isn't sticking out. Might need to open up some of the pages. See if I can get some more of the stickers, but or the tape. So we kind of have like a waterfall envelope. So here's the first page. So, so cool so far. Plus everything is a little wet, but it's okay. And that's the last page. So remember the, when we glued it in, there's the, all the paper there. And then we folded it in half. And then we flip it and then there's our envelope start of our envelope journal okay so now I'm going to ink everything and I got sponge sugar and I'll do just a little bit with you so you want to do your spine and do the tops of your pages I better do one at a time um, and then don't forget to do your tape. So here's your tape, right? So take your, do your tape because we're going to, we're going to be gluing some of the digitals I have here onto the pages. So don't forget to ink your tape and plus when we put in the lace and the but before um, before I do the sides we're going to do a flip out so let me finish inking up the tape and the top and the bottom not the sides because we're going well I guess you could do the side but we're going to add in a few flip outs all right, so let's put these flip outs in here. I like doing the flip outs on the right side, not the left, because it seems like when I put pockets and flips on the left, they fall out a lot more than the right. Um, I did not ink the edges yet. I'm going to wait. Um, I just want to get going. So there's five, there's ten. One, four, five. I would like to do one on the last page and then on the fifth page. So that's fourth. So this is number five. So let's do a flip out maybe in the middle. Do a flip out right there. And this doesn't matter because this is going to get covered up. But we could always use this for a tuck spot. And then cover that with lace. I think that would be, again, the tuck spot would be on the left but I could always put a paper clip there. You know what I could do? There's so much you could do. <laughs> okay, 
So let's go ahead and cut that so we can uh, make a tuck spot. Open that up and make a tuck spot for that. I should have got out my cutter. Do a straighter cut. Okay, so I... Okay, so let's go ahead and glue that down. Yeah, I like that. Let's go ahead and glue this down. So you can put your tuck spot anywhere you want to. So I'm only going to really glue it like, maybe like right here and right here because I'm going to try and use that for a tuck to hold a journaling spot. So let's just do that right there. And then I want to do another one on the last page saying flip. This one I'm going to bring lower. Okay. Alright, so same thing, but let's just add the glue just to the edge. Let's cut our little spot too real fast. So this is so fun. All right, let's add this one a little lower. And I might make another tuck spot in the back. Let's see. Alright, so this is what we have so far after I fixed the envelope. <laughs> so, um, don't worry about any of this. So this is what we have, 10 page envelope. Start of a timeless beauty ballerina journal. Here's a flip out and then a pocket. And this will be so beautiful. Tuck spot already. Um, but I will put a paper clip. And I was thinking about putting one of the tutu papers. Ink it up and put it in there for a journaling spot. And then another flip out on the last page. So, so fun. So pretty. Don't worry, we're going to cover those. But I would like to now uh, cover the front with lace. So let's do that now. And then the next video, we're going to start covering the pages with the laces from the bundle. Oops. And we're going to uh, cut out some paper. We're going to cut out some of these uh, digital papers here. So I, I included uh, these papers that you can journal on. And then also this one, we can use this to cover two pages with that and then use the rest for a journaling tag or something. And then we're going to use probably two of these a piece to cover that and then the rest with laces. So that'll be so much fun. So let's go ahead and glue... Uh, this gorgeous, gorgeous lace on the front and back. And what I plan on doing is, let's see if that's upside down or not, is put this beautiful, I'm going to trim it down just a tad. Okay, and I'm going to put this here, right there, maybe a little lower. I don't want it in the middle. Maybe kind of like that too. Uh, that buckle that I showed you, I, I would like to put it here after we trim it out. And we can use some of the lace from the bundle to 
um, make some lace dangling down with a buckle because that reminds me of her tiara. So I think we're going to do that in the next video as well. So this is so much fun, you guys. I'm so glad that you came along with me. But let's go ahead, look. So if I add that there, I can tuck. I'm not going to put any glue on the white part, only the ribbon part. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh. So pretty. This is so fun. Um, okay, so let's start gluing the lace on here. Let me make sure that this isn't upside down. Looks upside down to me. I'm trying to, uh, that looks really pretty. I guess it really doesn't matter. Huh. Okay, so... I'm going to put glue on here and on the edges. Just really light glue. I don't want anything heavy. Just real light. I don't like heavy glue. I should have gotten some fabric tack for this. I might run out and go get some later. Okay, so let's just... I always cut a bigger piece. Bigger than a journal. <clears throat> I might just leave this lace on too. This is such gorgeous lace. Gorgeous. Let's kind of pat it down. Lace sticks to lace sticks to paper really quick. I mean, really quick. So you got to be pretty <laughs> pretty fast on that. And then again, oh, and then again, let's go around here. I'm not going to make that a tuck spot. I might need to cut that off. Mm. I should have done that before I started gluing. I wonder what it would look like when I cover it. Can't even see it. Can you? So, I'll just leave it. I'll glue it down is what I'll do. I hope this comes out pretty, this project. So pretty. I will trim up the lace. So pretty so far. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right, so let's glue on the... Okay, let's glue on the lace to the edge. Here, with this beautiful lace that the, I put the pink ribbon in and you only want to add the glue to the ribbon okay let me see it is so peaceful right now I hear planes flying it's cloudy today but it's been so nice I want that on the very edge. I 
Let's see. So pretty. All right, so the front is glued and I will trim it up before the next video, but I want everything to dry and I put that on the back. So, so pretty so far. So pretty. And I'm going to trim up this and I'll have all my papers trimmed up. It'll fit in here after I trim it. I'm going to tuck the picture in like that. And we are going to play some more in the next video. I thank you all for stopping by and hanging out with me and making a timeless beauty vintage ballerina journal with me. Um, so I look forward to the next video with you all. Let's keep going and keep making this. So the next one we'll put the papers and lace on the pages. So, so much fun and we'll decorate the cover. So I hope that you all have a beautiful day and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.